Hello and welcome to this first episode of Learning with Mick <laughs> now, and Alan as well. <laughs> so, um, for those who uh, watched the introduction, I told you that it will be uh, critical for you to learn the pronunciation first, as I think it is important to learn the pronunciation as soon as possible so that then uh, we can prevent bad habits from lasting. It's uh, very important to get good habits when pronouncing French so that uh, you can be uh, understood by as many people as possible when you go to a French-speaking uh, country or a place where people speak French. So we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to start with the vowels because they are um, the most important and the most uh, challenging for new speakers. And uh, we'll get started with the letter A. Ah, there it is. So you can see it has uh, three uh, forms, uh, the regular A, but also A with an accent circonflexe and the A with an accent uh, grave. Uh, both of, all of them are pronounced A and there is a, a slight difference between uh, the three. So the regular A, uh, it's actually a word uh, which is a form of avoir, which means to have, whereas the uh, A with a hat here uh, is actually uh, an indication that means that the following letter, usually a S, has been removed. So every time you find a word with a letter, it can be a A, but it can be a E and an E as well. Every time you find uh, a word with a letter which has a little hat on the top, it means that the letter next to it has been uh, removed because it was never pronounced or the pronunciation didn't sound just right, so it was removed. It's just the uh, the way French language has evolved. And uh, last but not least, the uh, A with the accent uh, accent grave, uh, this little accent here, is uh, also uh, a letter, uh, a word. I mean, uh, it means uh, to, like for example, uh, go to, uh, or it belongs to. Uh, in French, we would just say A, and uh, we write it like this to make a difference between. Uh, this A with the preposition and A, uh, the verb uh, to have. So uh, really, but what you need to remember is that all these three uh, forms of A uh, always mean the same. Now we're going to uh, move to the variants. So there will be a uh, some variants as well of uh, of A, uh, and here they are. So this is the regular A, regular A here that you saw, then you will have A and N. This makes all. All. A and E will make E. E. Then you would have A, E, N. A, E, N would make the sound N. A and U will make the sound O. O. And uh, A and Y would make uh, I and sometimes E, depending uh, on uh, the context. So we're going to start uh, the variants uh, of A uh, with its uh, basic form, uh, A. You're going to pronounce these words with me. So you can say before each word, um, before each word, uh, there is a little letter on the side, so usually here when you see M, it means that it's a noun and that the noun is of masculine gender. Yes, French words have a gender and they are either feminine or masculine. Uh, whereas sometimes you would see V for a verb, ADJ or ADJ for an adjective. Here it's AEXP e e or EXP for an expression and I will, I will explain them and remind you uh, uh, as we... Uh, all of this as we encounter them. Let's get started uh, with uh, 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 Alan. Let's get started with uh, ah, with the first word, uh, sha. Uh, sha. Oui, sha. <laughs> sha. Sha means cat, and you can see there's a t at the end sha. of the word. Sha. Oui, sha. <laughs> oui. So the t is not sha. pronounced in French language. It is quite rare when the last letter of a word is pronounced. So. Be mindful of this every time you encounter uh, French words. Um, if you don't pronounce the last letter, you might be right at about a chance. You have 90% chance of being right. So 
Land one more time. Sha. It's a cat. Second word. Fromage. Fromage means cheese. It's something that you will uh, encounter quite often if you go to France. Or France, I should say. Another expression, uh, quite important, if you visit Paris, you may want to go to Notre... <laughs> you may want to go to Notre Dame. And not, uh, please don't say Notre Dame. The French people hate that. Instead, they would say Notre Dame. Or if you are invited, if you are the guest of a French family and uh, dinner is ready, there is another expression that you may hear quite often. It's uh, à table. Uh, à table means uh, to the table. Uh, it means dinner is ready or lunch is ready. À table. So let's say these words one more time and we will move to the next variant after. Chat. Fromage. Notre Dame. À table. All right, excellent. Now we're going to move to the next uh, variant. A N. A N uh, sounds like on. Now look at my mouth, very uh, oh. on. You have to open your mouth uh, quite widely and use your nose a little bit to uh, to generate this sound. On. I have uh, selected a few words uh, for you. Here's a uh, here is an adjective. Adégi, blanc. Notice that the last letter again is not pronounced. Blanc, it means white. And because it's an adjective, it can take both a male or a, a masculine or a feminine uh, gender. So the masculine gender of blanc is blanc, and the feminine gender is blanche. Blanche. Notice again that. Uh, the E at the end of blanche is not pronounced. Uh, we just stop the word at sh, ch. Blanc, blanche. Uh, the same goes uh, with another adjective, uh, which I think qualifies the little one here. Marron. Marron means funny. Tu es marron, Alan? Oui? Oui, il est très marron. Marron. And if Alan was a girl, then I would say elle est marrante, marrante. Now you can see here, the T is uh, pronounced but not the E. So uh, it's always the same in French, almost, almost all the time, never pronounced. Last letter, marrant, marrant. Now, there's a little expression, exception to, uh, to all is if you have, for example, an accent circonflex on the A, uh, or if uh, you have uh, uh, as a last letter as well of the word just before the on, then in that case each of the letters are operated independently, uh, which is why you don't say on uh, for this last word, but you say an. Uh, it means uh, donkey. Yes, uh, it's the best example I could find. So uh, let's try again these last wo these words uh, one more time. Blanc, blanche. Marron, marrante. Excellent. <laughs> now, another variant of A. A combination of A and E. It makes E. Oui, n'est-ce pas, Alan? So, for example, the first word here is LE. LE. It's a masculine noun, and you can see the T at the end of the word, was not pronounced once again. Le. It means milk. Le. Le. Uh, then after that, I selected an expression that is uh, very often used uh, in French. Uh, it has uh, two variants. A, 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 um, an informal uh, variant and a formal or polite variant, depending on who you are talking to. If you are talking to your best friend, you would use the first option. If you are talking to your boss or somebody you don't know, you would lose this, you would use the second option. S'il te plaît or s'il vous plaît. Uh, it means please. S'il te plaît, s'il vous plaît. Notice the T at the end is again not pronounced. And last, another word with the E, faire. Faire. It means to do. Work. 
fair. <laughs> so we are going to uh, say these uh, one last time before moving to the next variant of A. Les, s'il te plaît, s'il vous plaît, fair. All right. Now let's go to uh, the next uh, variant of A. Mm. Now look, you can see the shape of my mouth has changed. It is no longer like this, but like this. Mm. It's very important. It, it may look like I'm doing some comedics. Okay, a little bit for you so that I can really have the perfect sound. Uh, but that's actually what French, French is all about, you know. And, and it's, you should not be afraid to look a bit funny or to sound funny. It's just how French language is. Mm. Uh, First word here, masculine noun, bain. Bain is a bath. Bain. Second word, pain. Pain. Uh, pain is uh, something very important in France, and you might have encountered uh, this word perhaps in a, in a bakery where wherever you are uh, you are located. Uh, it means bread. Uh, pain. It doesn't mean pain. It's not related to pain. It's not, but it's, it's spelled exactly the same as pain. But uh, it's much more pleasant than pain. It's uh, pain, bread, pain. And uh, here, last is an adverb, adv, up, adv, adverb. Uh, it means now, and uh, we say maintenant, maintenant. It means now, maintenant. Let's do them one more time before we move on to the next variant. Bain. Bain. Second one. Pain. Pain. Last one. Maintenant. Maintenant. All right. All right. Uh, next. Uh, a penultimate. Uh, variant A and U. It makes O. Yeah, uh, why not using just the regular O? Well, that's how French is, and this is not actually the most bizarre various form of O. Uh, when we do E, the next letter, you will see uh, that there's a three-letter sound uh, which sounds just like just like O. C'est comme ça. It's an expression you will uh, encounter in French. C'est comme ça. It means it's the way it is. O, an adjective to start with. Show. Show. It means hot. So it's an adjective. Show is the uh, masculine version of hot. Show. And if you uh, want to use a feminine version, depending on the gender of the noun that this adjective would uh, would uh, be paired with, then it will be showed. Showed. So it's again that we finish the word with the d, not the uh, showed. The E is just here to indicate that it is in feminine form. Should. Another adjective. Uh, that's uh, another, uh, a color this time, uh, just like uh, the one we saw at the beginning. Uh, the beginning we saw uh, um, blanc for white. Here, this is jaune for yellow. Interestingly, uh, jaune uh, is both uh, feminine and masculine. So there is no difference between feminine and masculine. Both of them will be Jaune. If you visit France, uh, or you know, then we may want to have uh, lunch or dinner in an auberge. Auberge. Auberge means in. Auberge. There's another word uh, that we may uh, use. So auberge is feminine, and this is why there's an F. And then we will see a proper noun or non propre. NP, uh, Australie, Australie, it's Australia. Ah. Uh, it's interesting to see sometimes uh, French words and English words are very similar, just the last letter uh, would change, in this case the A for Australia uh, is changed with the E for Australia and is not pronounced, which is why the last letter that's actually pronounced is the E here. Okay, let's do these words one more time. Show, jaune. Auberge. 
Australie. Okay. And we're going to uh, finish okay. with. Uh, okay. We encore. That would be a. That would be the last one. We're going to finish with uh, the last variant of uh, of a. I'm writing uh, something because I just thought about something which I forgot to write. It's sometimes you may encounter uh, ai, which would mean ai. We make the sound ai, but sometimes it makes the sound e uh, for some reason. So only uh, experience uh, would tell you. I'm writing it down and uh, I'll be uh, back with you. There it is. Ai. A Y. Uh, we start with a verb here. Uh, payer. Payer. You may recognize the root of the of the word payer. Pay. That means to pay. Payer. You will see when we do um, when we do e that uh, e and r all together make the sound e. The same sound as uh, café, uh, for example. Let's do it again. Paye. There's a masculine noun coming up next. Uh, Paye. Pay. Uh, you would recognize the sound ai. Paye. 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 It's, 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 it's the same. Uh, feminine noun here. Mayonnaise. Yes, this is how it should be pronounced. Uh, I know there are a lot of you out there who like uh, this sauce, especially with fries, it's pretty good. Well, the, the way you should say it is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. It's not an easy word, uh, because you have the I and the E after, and you should not pronounce the E, so keep that in mind. Mayonnaise. And this is the one I just uh, wrote uh, at the end. Uh, it's a city in Champagne. Champagne is a, is a region where they make the famous wine, Champagne, the sparkling wine. Epernay. And you can see here, I didn't say Epernay, uh, because uh, when, it, when you finish at the end of a, at the, end of the word, uh, A and Y, it turns into the E sound, just like A, I, we saw earlier. So we say Epernay. Let's do these words again. Paye. Paye. Mayonnaise. Epernay. All right, well, very good. So I uh, hope this wasn't too complicated for you. Uh, in the next video, we will do the sound E. Uh, and uh, it's very, uh, you will see there will be a, a lot of variants. Actually, the the E uh, is the most common letter in, in French language, and it is also the one which has the highest amount of uh, variants. So hope to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, uh, work hard on A. Ah. Bye!